Welcome to Power Driven Diesel. Today we're going to put this 5.9 Cummins in this 06 Dodge on the dyno. The modifications this truck has right now is EFI Live by Power Driven Diesel and the Borg Warner drop in 362 SXE turbo that we provide. And so we want to see what kind of power we can make with only those modifications. We have a stock exhaust, we have a stock air intake. This isn't going to be a quiet truck. If you're towing, if you're going down the road, this is not going to be noisy. Then we're going to, after those tests, we're going to put on a higher flowing air filter to see if the stock box is a restriction or not. So hop in the dyno with us, we're going to see what this thing can do. Okay, so we have the Borg Warner SXE 362 loaded on this truck, we're loading the dyno. We're just going to do a couple of power runs. First, we're going to do it with the stock air box. We're going to see if this uh, turbo maxes out the air box or if there's enough flow. We cobbled together kind of a, a janky intake just so we can compare with the high flow filter versus the stock filter. So we're going to do a run from 1500 to about 32, 3300 RPM. And we're just going to see how much power it makes and uh, let's see what it gets. Here we go. All right, first run is done, 15 to 30, 500, uh, 34, whatever, 100 RPM we did. So let's, what's the power numbers? Let's see what we've got here. So we're 539.5 horsepower. 539. And 1,014 pound-feet of torque. 1,014. So I think what I'm gonna do is just do one more run, make sure it's repeatable, make sure there's nothing weird going on, and then we'll swap out the intake. So anyway, this, this turbo works, that's pretty good power. And for a little 62 millimeter charger, that's right up there with what we've seen on 69 millimeter chargers on the stock fueling. So, kind of shows you that on a stock fuel, a 62 is about enough to give you all, all the power you have. It's enough turbo for all the fueling on a stock fueled EFI Life only tuned truck. Let's do another run here, real quick, and see what comes up, and then we'll swap out intakes. Okay, so that was run number two. How'd we do? 538.9, 1021 pound feet of torque. So. so identical for all the sense purposes. So this, with this setup, with a stock air intake, this has a stock exhaust, by the way. This does not have an aftermarket exhaust. So literally, only thing we've done on this is a turbo and EFI Live. No other modifications. And we're 540 horsepower to the ground and over 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. So. This is a good quiet, if you're looking for a quiet truck that tows well and a good little hot rod to kind of surprise your friends, this is a pretty good setup. We're now going to change the air filter. We're going to see if there's a restriction in the filter. Well, uh, the exhaust is a 4-inch exhaust, so that, these flow pretty good from the factory. Filter, I think, maybe another, another uh, story. Let's go see the filter minder and put a new filter on. Here we go. So the stock air box, as you can see, is totally maxed out. Let's reset it here. It used all of it. I mean, it sucked it all the way down. So there's definitely potential for more power here. So we're gonna take this guy off and put an aftermarket intake on it. Now we didn't buy a special one for this truck. We simply have some parts in the shop. We made an intake tube. We put one of our power driven diesel high flow filters on it. Uh, we're gonna see what you can expect from a high flowing filter on this truck. Here we go. All right, so now we have a new filter on and this is gonna be kind of fun test because there's a lot of ways you can sway a dyno. So if I was a company wanting to advertise the air filters, let's say. It'd be very easy for me if I did my first run with my aftermarket air filter where the engine's not hot and not heat soaked, and then I could take that off and put on my, put on the stock filter next when everything's hot and really show a big gain because it might just be temperature. So we are literally doing this, that took about three minutes, the same run. We're at fully 180 degrees and we are going to do two runs back to back just like last time. So in case we have a heat soak, we can rule that out. So we're going to do two runs back to back, see if we pick up any power, see if the stock air box is a restriction or not. Here we go. Are you ready? Ready when you are. There we go. All right, first run down, what would you come back at? 573 and 1056. 573, so that's not quite a 30 horsepower jump. We were at 539, our best one yes, last time. Actually, it's just over a 30 horsepower bump. Over 30, 39 to 73. Mm -hmm. So that's like a... 
34. 34. So over 30 horsepower. What was the torque difference? Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember, but it wasn't much. So the down low, it flows enough down low where the torque's high, up high where the horsepower matters, it really falls off. Interesting. Okay, so so far, like 34 horsepower increases. See if it's repeatable. There we go. Okay, run number two done, what do we get? 565 and 1039. 565 and 1039, so we lost about eight horsepower on that second run from the heat soak. So you can show that, I could just say, oh, we picked up eight horsepower, if I, even if there was no change at all, just from two runs. But either way, we're still up 30, 30-ish 30 horsepower with the filter. So on this turbo, there is a benefit going with a bigger intake. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we've got the power runs done, we're going to do some towing simulations. What we've got is we've got this dyno replicating like a, a 10,000 pound trailer. So we have a 17,000 pound weight. We're going to pull it down the freeway and hit different grades. We're going to keep increasing the grade and see how this turbo does, see what kind of EGT control it has. So we've got 17,000 pounds going down the road. We're going to start at 3% grade, then 4, then 5, then 6, and see what kind of EGT we have. Um, it's going to be higher here than it would be in real life because we don't have 80 mile an hour air going across the intercooler, we just have the fan. So we're going to put the cruise on 80 miles an hour, uh, leave the air conditioning on, and uh, let's just see what it does. So we're going to cruise up and start loading this thing down see what happens. We don't have 80 mile an hour going across the radiator just with a fan can pull, so things are going to be a little warmer here than they are out on the freeway, but at least this gives us a good test to see what it can do. We're going to start out with a 3% load here, pulling 17,000 pounds. Well, let's see what it does. There's 3% right there. So we're at about 15, 16 pounds of boost, 17,000 degrees, 80 miles an hour. Haven't lost any speed yet. Okay, let's try 4%. There's 4%? Yep. Okay, so just a little bit more boost. Fan kicked on, a little more heat. Still under 1,200. Gonna hit 1,200 though, it looks like. There it is. All right, let's try 5% uh, grade. There's five. A little bit harder, boost is going up. 25 pounds of boost, 1,250. 60. Let's try 6% grade. There's a 6% grade. All right, here's six. Let's see how she does. So we're not having any problems maintaining our speed with this turbo. Uh, heat's warm, but this is a lot cooler than it would be if I was trying to do this with a stock turbo. 1350. The stock tuning will get you over 1400, so this is still pretty good for a common rail truck. Um, there you go, hanging out, 80 miles an hour. I think I'd be about 100 degrees cooler if I was going down the freeway, honestly, with the air from the uh, speed. But, you know, still gives an idea what's going on. All right, engine's kind of getting warm. Let's turn her off. Get a lot better engine cooling, a lot better AGT control with uh, 80 mile an hour, 80 mile an hour air over your uh, cooling components. But still, this is a good idea. What's going on? Okay, so that is going to end up the trailer tow testing of this turbo. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Uh, kept uh, the power was good. We can see on the dyno graph. You can see every time I raise the level, you see how much more power it takes. So what are our power levels? What's the what's the four three percent grade? How much power did it take? Um, three percent. It's like uh, 193 horse. It's about 190, 200 horsepower to pull that. How much does it take for 4%? Uh, 4% is right around, looks like 250-ish. About 250 and a yeah. 5%? 4%, 4% and then 5% would be just, uh, well, it's about 275. 275 horsepower and what about 6%? 6% was 300. 300, so 300 horsepower. A stock truck does not put that down to the ground. So we, if we had a stock truck, we, we would not have been able to do that up the hill. We lost speed for sure. It doesn't even put that much power to the ground, let alone pulling the trailer up a hill. So this turbo literally drops in place. Stock exhaust, the stock elbow, everything clamps in place with this turbo. Stock exhaust manifold. It's pretty simple to put this turbo on. So anyway, that's the 362 on this truck. We have pretty much going to stop our testing with this truck on turbos because I don't think we're going to pick up much power with the bigger turbo. We've had compounds on here and made pretty much the same power, which is pretty much 550-ish. 570, I mean, depending on the day, is the power you're going to get out of this truck with EFI Live and stock tuning. So, anyway, hope that's helpful for you. That's the 362.
and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.